Hello friends! In today's video, we'll talk about some of the real bandits of the animal world. Banded mongooses are fast, smart, and brave, as well as incredibly curious and persistent. It is not surprising that these animals have adapted to life in the harsh savannas of Africa. Danger awaits them everywhere. The enemy can attack from the air, lurk in the trees, and of course, wait on the ground. But together, the animals are ready to fight off predators that are superior in size and sometimes even turn them into their own prey. The banded mongoose gets its name from the pattern of 10 to 15 dark transverse stripes on its back, running from the shoulders to the tail. The body length of this animal reaches 30 to 45 centimeters, while its weight is between 1.5 and 2.25 kilograms. It has a small head with a short, pointed muzzle and small, round ears. The body of the banded mongoose is covered with stiff hair, which is shorter at the head and lengthens towards the tail, reaching a length of 45 millimeters in some individuals. Each hair on the back of the mongoose is light at the base and has two wide dark stripes in the middle and a narrow dark tip. These animals have five toes on their front paws and four on their hind paws. The big toe of the forepaw is small, but it has a long 8mm claw that's used for digging. Banded mongooses are diurnal animals. They wake up early in the morning and hide in the shelter at sunset. They don't leave their hiding places at night. They usually use termite mounds and rock crevices for shelter. They don't dig burrows like meerkats do, but they can settle in a small abandoned hole. Mongooses are known to change their shelter every two to three days. Exceptions are observed only if there are small pups in the group. Banded mongooses live in rather large groups. The number of animals in the group ranges from 7 to 40, with an average of 15 to 20 individuals. The habitat of the group is about 2 square kilometers. On their territory, banded mongooses can use up to 40 different shelters, at night, all the animals sleep in the same shelter, keeping each other warm, and in the morning, they go out in search of food. If there are pups in the group, they stay in the shelter. One of the group members always stays with the little ones. Most of the time, it's an adult male. The nannies take turns to eat. Month-old pups can already go out hunting with adults. There is no clear hierarchy in the mongoose group. All we can say is that the older individuals dominate over the younger ones. Overall, all members of the group are friendly towards each other. Sure, conflicts between males do happen, usually over females. If the size of the group becomes too large or conflicts become too frequent, some of the animals may leave. Smells are very important in the life of the mongoose. Animals of the same group mark each other with the secretions of their anal glands thus creating and maintaining a common smell. In addition, they mark their territory by marking environmental objects that stand out, such as large stones, trees, etc. These odor points create a certain signal field, which is also used by mongooses of neighboring groups. By the odor of the markings, they can determine the physical condition and reproductive status of their neighbors. Groups of banded mongooses show aggressive behavior towards other groups, they diligently defend the borders of their territory. When two groups of mongooses notice each other, the animals stand on their hind legs and make a sound notifying their relatives of the approach of a competing group. The smaller group can retreat, while the larger one can pursue it for some time. If the forces are equal, a fight may begin. There are usually paired fights in which opponents bite and scratch each other until one of them flees. It can later come back and the fight would resume. Fights between groups equal in strength and number can last over an hour. They are extremely cruel, since the animals can severely injure and even kill each other. Nevertheless, males of one group can mate with females of the other group during the fight. A group of mongooses notices predators at a distance of 100 meters or more. Having noticed the danger, the animal makes a piercing sound, notifying its relatives of the presence of the enemy. And depending on which predator is approaching, the mongooses have different patterns of behavior. If it's a bird of prey, 
or a large animal like a leopard. All the members of the group hide in a shelter. If the predator is small, for example, a jackal, the mongooses gather together and make loud aggressive sounds, slowly moving either towards the enemy, trying to drive them away, or alongside it, letting it know that they can stand up for themselves. Mongooses are predators, but they are small predators, and their prey is also small. They feed mainly on anthropods, primarily beetles and centipedes, which make up 80% of their diet. They enjoy eating ants, snails, small reptiles, bird eggs, small rodents and their offspring, as well as various fruits. Before eating venomous animals, such as frogs, centipedes, or spiders, mongooses roll their prey on the ground to get rid of its venom. They break eggs by throwing them at stones or by making holes in them with their teeth. In search of food, mongooses can move rather far from their overnight shelter to a distance of two to three kilometers. Each animal searches for food on its own, making zigzag movements and lowering its nose to the ground. The animal sniffs the ground, turns over fallen leaves and twigs, digs the ground with its own front paws, but no deeper than a few centimeters into the ground. This kind of search lets the mongoose find something to eat almost every minute. During feeding, the animals don't move far from each other and maintain continuous contact with their relatives by making grunting sounds. Once in a while, the animals pause and take a look around, sniffing and listening carefully in order not to miss the approaching danger in time. But they don't have a permanent sentry like meerkats. Unlike most mongoose species, where only dominant females breed, several females can simultaneously have offspring in a group of banded mongooses. This isn't typical for most predators. Moreover, females of banded mongooses living in the same group have their birth cycles synchronized. Thus, several females of different social ranks give birth simultaneously. This adaption is presumably supposed to protect the offspring against infanticide by other females and dominant males, since this way they can't distinguish between their own pups and the pups of other females. Thus, several females from the group raised all the same pups together. The gestation period of banded mongooses is about 60 days, after which the female gives birth to two to four pups weighing 20 to 50 grams. They start leaving the shelter to get their own food at the age of four weeks. And at the age of five weeks, the pups can already go searching for food in the morning with all the adults. They become independent at the age of about three months Adult individuals actively interact with the young ones, guarding them, playing with them, and taking care of them. Mongooses are easily tamed and are very intelligent. The local population often keeps these fearless, affectionate, and extremely smart animals as pets. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and see you soon.